Enough! It's more than you know. I'm over TikTok and people that dwell on negativity, fear-mongering, drama, people that don't know what they're talking about. I'm just, I'm over them getting the engagement, the views, just, it, it kind of irks me. So I'm on astrological TikTok and spiritual TikTok, kind of, sort of, I wouldn't consider myself to be known on, you know, spiritual TikTok or astrological TikTok, but you know, I, I do my due diligence, do, do I, that was not English. <laughs> I do my due diligence. I teach astrology, you know, I'll put my knowledge out there, everything, anything that I know, because I don't know, for me, astrology is just like, do you know this? Do you know this? You know this? Do you really know this? It kind of irks me and it grinds my gears a bit when I see people that don't know what they're talking about in terms of astrology, get all these views and all these likes. Now, I look at it from both sides because I'm like, that could definitely be their purpose and nobody's perfect. I get that. And then the other side of it is, it's just that like, I don't know how long they've been doing astrology. So maybe it's something that I have not seen within my practice. And maybe I should go implement that and see. Intuitively, I just, I feel a feeling, you know, because I know astrology is kind of like spirituality where you like, you resonate with something and you may not resonate with it. I made a video about it, like what resonates with you today, you may not resonate with it tomorrow. But I'm like, when it comes to knowledge and when it comes to like, you being a teacher and you're teaching these certain things and people are not teaching the right information, they're putting the wrong information out there, it irks the people that actually know what they're talking about. It's not only that it's like drawing people away from astrology, it's like now the people that are in astrology, it's almost as if we have to prove ourselves and I'm not trying to prove myself to anybody. You know, I know what I'm talking about, but it's because of people that get on TikTok because they went on Google and they finally learned something, but it's not what it seems to be and they go teach it as if it's fact and here I am as a teacher who's been doing it for some time now and I'm like I just want it to be over the last couple of days I've been feeling a little down I'm not gonna lie like I, re I released a song on Tuesday and after that I told myself I was going to take a break I felt like I didn't have a sense of direction I don't really know what's coming next I'm not afraid of what's coming next but I just don't know what's coming next and it's just it's been a little downer recently it it's also frustrating is because it's like I, I'm not doing this for money. I'm really just doing this because I want people to learn more about, you know, their energy, their charts, things like that. It's also kind of like, I don't know where life is taking me because life right now is just so uncertain in this world. And being on this spiritual journey, you hear a lot about, you know, be of this world, but don't be in it. Or, um, mm, no, switch that around. Be in, you live in this world, but you're not of this world. I've always felt different. Like, the certain things that people are going through that they're experiencing, like, I'm not resonating with that. You know, this whole quiet quitting movement, I just, it, act your wage is what I would call it. I wouldn't call it quiet quitting. I would just call it act your wage. There ain't nobody quitting quietly. I thought that quiet quitting was like, you're just quitting and you're not giving anybody the two weeks notice and you just, you up and leave, you don't tell nobody. That's what I thought quiet quitting was. Little did I know, quiet quitting is actually just acting your wage and not going above and beyond. I already realized that the older generations aren't going to understand what it's like to start working in the workforce at 20, in right now in the 20s and 30s is because they're not 20 and 30 um, at this time in their lives. They're mostly 50s and 60s and onward and upward. Corruption is at an all time high. I'm not really focused so much on the corruption part because I'm like, that it, things are just crumbling. That needs to happen. That needs to crumble. I'm more frustrated is because it's like, I feel like when things are going right in my life, something always happens and I end up like back at square one. And it's very hard for me to like leave square one. For example, I'm trying to leave Long Island, you know, love Long Island, but I don't like it. It's just, it's harder to become independent. And I'm only 24. So I understand that your 20s are a time to mess up and things like that. Growing up right now is so, it's such a challenge. And then add the spiritual journey on top of it. You're living in the world, but not of it. It's kind of like, it gets annoying after a while. It gets frustrating. I know that people are like, oh, but don't question the universe. You know, don't block your blessings. I'm not trying to block my blessings, but these are questions that just 
really pop up in my mind. Like, if the universe wants love and light and the universe wants everybody to live their best life, why are these things happening? And I understand that it's not happening to you, it's happening for you, but it's very hard to see, like, why these things are happening or how these things are happening for you. In my personal life, I can start to see the pieces, but it's like, I feel as though that what I'm doing isn't fully what I'm meant to be doing, although I feel called to do it. I just, I don't know. I don't really know what the the end goal is. You know, I am doing what I feel called to do and I'm grateful for it. You know, I'm living the life that I want to live. Is it perfect? Not really, not even close. But you know what? I get to wake up at the, t at the time that I get to wake up, so that's, that's a plus. I'm ready for Pluto to go into Aquarius. For the girls who get it, they get it. Pluto and Capricorn and all this retrograde energy. Granted, Saturn in retrograde is really great because I was born with Saturn in retrograde. As well as the other planets can't relate. You know, I know Uranus just went retrograde. Pluto's gone retrograde. Pluto retrograde hasn't been that bad. Uranus retrograde, oh my god. It's retrograde in my 11th house, so it's not that bad, but Mars is in my 12th house right now. I'm not with it, but I'm gonna leave you with that. Okay, peace and blessings. Bye.